Welcome to St. Mary's Parish. Good morning, everyone. Please stand. All the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous things. His right hand has won the victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So congratulations on making it to Mass this morning after all this snow we've had. Um, for any viewers watching us online, we've had a big snowstorm in Ottawa, so there are less people uh, at Mass this morning. It reminds me of the story of the church. There was a big snowstorm, and that morning only one person showed up for Mass. It was a farmer, and the priest greeted him, and he said to the farmer, he says, you're the only person this morning. Do you think I should give a homily? <laughs> and the farmer said, well, listen, when I go feed my chickens, if only one chicken shows up, I still feed it. And the priest says, oh, okay. So the priest read the gospel, and he gave a half-hour homily. <laughs> and so as the um, farmer was leaving, the priest asked the farmer, he says, what do you think about the homily? And the farmer says, when I go to feed my chickens, if only one chicken shows up, I don't give him the whole bucket. <laughs> Let's open our hearts to the Lord who loves us so much. Let's acknowledge our sins and receive His mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to seek and to save the lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your sacred heart was pierced out of love for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have love. Lord Jesus, you poured out your blood for us so that we could be made clean. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, for the sake of the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did when I remember you constantly in my prayers, night and day, recalling your tears. I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother, Lois, and in your mother, Eunice, and now, I am sure, lives in you. For this reason, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power, of love, 
and of self-discipline. Do not be ashamed, then, of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's mercy to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations. Tell of his marvelous work among all the peoples. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring good news to the poor and freedom to prisoners. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. From among the disciples, the Lord appointed 70 and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the house eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom has, of God has come near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Probably all of you as Canadians know the experience of waking up from camping and the fire pit is covered in a blanket of gray ash and you're asking yourself, do I need to work hard to start a fire? So you take a stick and you kind of poke into the ash and you notice some little sparks. And so you, oh good. So you throw a couple, I don't know what, you know, newspaper, or birch bark or sticks, and you blow. And the, 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 the embers, they glow, they glow, they produce heat, and boom, your fire is started up and you can make breakfast. And Lord, or, uh, Paul speaks today of rekindling the gift of God. And it's a biblical image, the fire, to keep the fire burning. And it's beautiful within each one of us. There's a fire. It's a divine fire. It's the life of God. It's God's spirit. You know, as Paul says, the, the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the spirit who has been given to us. And so when the spirit came down on the day of Pentecost, he came down as fire. What a beautiful thing a divine fire that's meant to glow and radiate and burn and produce heat. And for me, you know, we could talk about dozens of ways to kindle the fire, to keep the fire burning, to increase the fire. Uh, but if I had to give one, and again, there's, they're all important, you know, but I find good spiritual reading is a great way to keep that fire burning day after day after day. I just find that, um, you know, reading from the saints, you know, or from other, you know, blessed uh, spiritual writers, it just, you can almost feel the fire kindling in your heart and it remains, you know, it kind of stays uh, with you. And so we need to keep the fire burning. We need to recognize this divine life in us. And there's nothing more important, you know, we need to have the life of God in us so that we can spread this fire everywhere we go. Now we just need someone to kindle the fire in our furnace to heat this place up. <laughs> Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our vocation to become the light of the world, that the church, the people of God, may become a great light shining in the darkness of this world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the world may bring rays of hope in the lives of those who suffer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that Christians may be like light on a mountain top, guiding people in their journey to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the old, and the neglected may continue to hope because of the light shown by those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal light may shine on our departed loved ones, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of today's Mass, for the repose of the soul of Avis Jean-Pierre, offered by Eustolia Henry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of our brothers and sisters, so that we may let your light shine toward all. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. There must be more than this. O oh, bread of God, come breathe within. There must be more than this. Spirit of God, we wait for you. Feel us anew, we pray. Feel us anew, we pray. Consuming fire, fire into flame. A passion for your name. Spirit of God, would you fall in this place? Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way with us. Come like a rushing wind. Clothe us with power from on high. Now set the captives free. Leave us abandoned to your praise. Lord, let your glory fall. Lord, let your glory Consuming fire, fed into flame, a passion for your name. Spirit of God, would you fall in this place? Lord, have your way, Lord, have your way. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives, teach her by their words of preaching, and keep, the, keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Marcel, our Bishop, Yvon, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Oh, grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed.
sense there's someone who's really worried about a situation and, and the Lord is saying to you, I've got this. <laughs> and, and it's almost like the Lord is uh, not shocked, but just 
uh, maybe surprised or, or bewildered, or words fall short, but th that we would not realize that He's the God who takes care of everything. He's got this, and so we can surrender to Him. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish us in that faith, taught by the preaching of the apostles, and kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Father, let your fire fall down. Father, pour out your love, your spirit anew and afresh in our hearts. Let your holy fire be rekindled, your divine fire, your heavenly fire. Lord, fill us with your holy fire. Well, let this blessing bring healing to the sick. Let it restore those who need restoration. Let it bring your protection and your provision. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk to the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name, you give and take away, you give Blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Thank you. Have a blessed day.